Hey, welcome back, everybody. We're kind of in between storms. These storms are just relentless this year. We can't figure out what's the the meaning or what's going on behind the weather this year. But it's a lot different. Usually by now we're in 80, 90 degree temperatures and and uh, 50 degrees at night. But it's just not happening this year. But we're still going to keep going and see if we can get these. Uh, systems that we're designing for the gravity fed to uh, still work on our garden. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you the, the, the process where I take the water out of the tanks and put them in the other tank. That will feed the garden with the gravity fed system that I designed. So I hope you join us today and uh, if you have any comments on uh, what we're doing, please don't hesitate to ask and I hope you like it. So if you're wondering why the water is a little cloudy and bubbly, I have put some fish oil additive into it. So when I'm watering my garden, it's getting great nutrients. Fish oil and fish guts and fish parts are really good for your garden. It gives a good boost to uh, your growth and the stuff that's in it. And it adds good stuff to your uh, soil too for future gardens. Here's some of the plants that we're waiting to plant. Some tomato plants and pepper plants. This is something new that I'm going to try. It's a type of blueberry for our high mountain elevation. Okay, so we're all done putting the water into the other tank. I need to take this little guy off here. And then I'll hook up my garden hose. And then it'll be ready to so this is going to be a new method on how to water our tomato plants in our greenhouse this is something that new that we've found out recently about how to uh, use different methods to conserve water and so what we're going to do is I cut these about a foot in length and I'll cap it with a three inch cap. This is three inch um, drain tube. And I'll cap it with glue and then I'll take my drill and I'll drill holes through it. So what that is, in theory, it will seep as the plant needs its water. And it'll keep the ground nice and wet and as the plant needs more water, it'll, it'll demand it to come out and seep into the ground. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see how this works. I uh, hope it works well, and if it does, we'll continue on it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. It's something that we don't know quite much about, so if you've done this before, please comment and uh, let us know how it worked for you.
as you can see, the water's working fine. It's got enough pressure to start making it drip. I gotta tighten a few things. But we got water coming out of the tube. So our tubes are done and dried and we're gonna go ahead and dig the hole out for them to slip down. Now you wanna keep in mind here, the distance between the plant and the tube, you want the plant right next to the tube. So when the roots start to grow, it can find the water. And make sure your holes will be pointing toward the plant. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig a hole here and uh, get this planted kind of next to it and uh, see what it looks like to be able to plant. With a paper in his hand. So we got the hole prepped and ready to go for the plant. And remember, when you're putting these down in the ground, pack the dirt around the pipe. But leave it loose out away from it for the roots to grow down through it. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any comments, please comment below. And like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next week.